Hi, you guys. This is my first reading with spiritual tarot reading. Um, I am Calypso Vibes. I am here with my partner, Jude. But this is uh, my first stream doing this uh, with this channel. We do usually do wrestling tea tarot. is our other YouTube channel where we usually do wrestling tarot. And um, Spirit has been telling me it's time for me to start doing tarot readings to help people. So bear with me as I evolve with this journey of uh, doing general readings. It's going to be definitely general readings. Um, as I evolve, I also will be evolving using more of my gifts on the channel. Um, I have bones downstairs. I have runes. I have pendulum. So you may see me evolve in... Uh, the gifts that I use to do spiritual tarot readings. Also, I commune with the dead. So, or passed on, deceased, whatever, you know, words you prefer. Um, so, I will be evolving using many gifts to help. Maybe, you know, someone has had a loved one or an animal or anything pass away and is looking for some closure for some messages and things like that. So, we'll, we'll definitely tap into videos like that. Um, I appreciate if you are checking out my video here for the first time. Um, as I also evolve, I will be, excuse me, getting a better setup. And I will be um, in a studio or like an office or an environment where I'll start showing myself on camera. Just right now, I wanted to get my nerves out and do my first reading where you guys can't see me. Just I wanted to be hyper focused on the cards and the message. And, um, yeah, let's get into it, you guys. I appreciate it again. I am Calypso Vibes. It's a spiritual tarot reading. And if the message applies to you, great. If it doesn't, that that's okay. You know, some messages will resonate heavy and some won't resonate heavy. And that's all good. Um, also, I want to make it clear that I will never reach out and contact you personally in messages or DMs. So if you get messages or DMs from people copying our channel or making, you know, you know, copies with under, you know, hashtags or under, what is it, underscores and things like that, that's not us. I'm never going to reach out to you. So uh, I don't want anybody to get scammed. Again, I will never message you to do a personal reading. So please don't allow yourself to get scammed by people WhatsApping you and all that other stuff on here because there's a lot of scammers and a lot of fraudulent. I notice in this arena of YouTube, unfortunately. So again, I am Calypso Vibes and just know that I will never reach out to you and this is general readings and it is spiritual readings because today I am going to be tapping into the goddesses that may want to communicate with you. So I have my goddess um, tarot and um, I forgot the other one. It's called Eden of Love. So I'll, I'll shout out a few of the tarots because there's some really good tarots that are made and especially a few of the tarots made by a few black women that I support. So absolutely want to support small businesses. So if you make tarot cards and would like for me to use them um, on this channel and shout your store out. I'm happy to support small businesses as I own a small business, which is down in the description and also, uh, in our about me description. So check out our Etsy store, um, linked, linked down in the description. So let's get to it. <clears throat> and I am Calypso Vibes. And if you are here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please. So you can get uh, notifications and turn on the notification bell for when I do more readings on this channel. Again, bear with me as uh, I usually do these readings privately for people. It is the first time I am trying to do a general reading and, and tap into what message spirit <clears throat> feels that the masses need because tomorrow is 7-7, seven, seven, so portal day. It's a very powerful portal, divine portal opening. We just came out of a full moon um, as of, I think yesterday was the third day of the full moon. So we're on the wane, you know, the, uh, the full moon going out. It was a buck moon in Capricorn. Super powerful for manifesting. I'm a Capricorn myself. So it was, you know, really good. And it's not too late because today is Thursday. So it's all about money and Jupiter. It felt like a good day to do this as well. Tomorrow will be Friday. So it'll be Venus energy. So make sure you guys do some self-care rituals tomorrow. Um, and do some money rituals tonight. Blow some cinnamon from, you know, into your front door. 
um, tomorrow take a spiritual bath, you know, make sure you're taking care of yourself, especially because it's the first of the month and you want to bring good energy into your home and in your life when it's the beginning of the month. All right, spirit, spirit, and you guys and ancestors for the good of all and harm to none. Um, also, if you're watching this, make sure you give me your consent and permission to flow into your energy. Um, I absolutely believe in consent. So if you're watching, I hope you are giving me permission and consent to flow into your energy to see what spirit wants to commune to you. And let's see what deities and goddesses step forward during this reading. We have hell showing up so far. Hello, hell. We appreciate you stepping forward for this reading so far. Is there any other goddesses? The deities wanting to step forward during this reading. Boy, hell must have an intentional message. Because I'm not getting anyone else currently stepping forward. Hell is very representative here for endings. And who else do we have? We have Kali. A lot of destruction energy. A lot of ending and the the destruction i really think this speaks to the times that we're currently in i think there's going to be a shifting in the energy spiritually around us hence why i'm getting hell and kali's energy i am also getting anna grandmother jesus nurture ancestral healing wisdom uh-huh they want us to usher in beginning to heal ourselves while we have Sophia at the bottom of the deck with divine light, Holy Spirit, um, and Genesis. And then we have Julungo, who is life stages, coming of age, and transition. So, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we definitely have some interesting energy sitting on the top and the bottom of the deck. I want to see if we can give it a few more shuffles to see if anyone else want to step forward to speak to the collective we have lady sarah i told you what did i tell you guys lady sarah stepping forward divine union new earth holy grail oneness we definitely have some new energy stepping forward uh starting tomorrow i really think it has something to do with tomorrow because look the first card was a seven hell represented number seven on the card endings depth and hidden aspects I think whatever's been hidden from the masses is going to, things are going to start being exposed starting tomorrow. Um, Kali, because the shadow is also showing up with Kali, shadow, ego, illusion. So I think it's going to be the ending of a lot of illusions, things hidden in the shadows, death to the ego is showing up. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people taking ego deaths coming tomorrow but then we have this nurturing anna grandmother jesus some of y'all are going to be healing a lot of childhood trauma family generational uh lineage healing you know what i mean we have nurture ancestral healing and wisdom yeah you guys are going to have your ancestors starting to come through communicating with you more telling you to nurture and heal your your bloodline and then Lady Sarah, which is the divine union. Some of y'all are going to start meeting your spiritual partners, your spiritual mates. Um, the fact that we're getting new earth. Again, I told you it's something to do with destruction of the old system, uh, the old ways, right? The, the earth is going to start purging itself. Um, the Holy Grail, which I think we're going to get uh, knowledge, like divine wisdom, divine knowledge coming down. Um and a lot of oneness, which is like focusing, hyper-focusing on ourselves, connecting the spirit, right? Hyper, a lot of, lot of in, you know, intention being focused on, you know, oneness, working on ourselves, destroying our egos, destroying these illusions that we've had of ourselves or that we put out and project to people. Um, the fact that that seven was the first card for hell and uh, like I said, tomorrow seven seven. So make sure you are doing super spiritual work tomorrow. Shadow work is my um, my guess. 
I think with Kali saying coming up immediately after hell, which is endings and hidden aspects, she's telling you to kill your ego. Hyper emphasis on this double shadow showing up with hidden aspects and shadows. So she's telling you to do shadow work and to whoever, you know, is getting in their own way, right? Stop letting the ego guide you. I think when the world we currently live in is super ego driven, first of all, um, it's a narcissistic, ego driven culture and climate that we're in. Um, we're not driven by empathy, which is why the grandmother's coming up, right? That we need to learn to nurture and be a lot more soft to one another, um, even in our relationships, whether it's with our families our loved ones, our partners, our children, or whatever it is, um, whoever means, uh, has deep significant meaning in your life, you need to learn to nurture and uh, it, go on the healing journey a little bit together, right? But also uh, respect the individual uh, journey, right? The oneness, right? Needing to <laughs> have a little bit of independence, right um not be suffocated so much right spend more time out in nature right uh helping heal the earth i think we're being called a lot of the earth uh i don't want to say earth angels but like you know the earth benders right because i think that's more of a better word for us because i think like humans to me are we're benders right we're either air benders Earthbenders, I think Avatar was probably as close as we were going to get to being told the truth on many things, right? That we're all avatars because we are we're in avatar bodies. Um, I think it's time that we start. The Earthbenders have the biggest responsibility right now because it is our job to heal the earth and start being out there grounding, doing rituals, dances, singing in nature, hugging trees um planting you know what i mean planting gardening as much as we can um you know i do think there's a such thing as like what's it called a radical uh, what's the word i'm looking for like all these eco nuts right i think there's a such thing as being a, like an extreme eco nut if that makes sense like I, i'm trying to think of the right word that i'm looking for what are people who are like heavy into the the earth like uh the they are kind of like eco warriors i think they are they have a benefit i think they've also lost their message right like the message that the initial message was to heal the earth right but i think the message has gotten a little bit muddled because it's become you know a little bit extreme first of all the earth will fix itself right but it's also our job to help fix it right and to uh usher in this energy of teaching people how to earth bend right because unfortunately i think uh air signs get too easily distracted right earth people like to keep their feet on the ground right so it is our job to teach air signs how to keep their feet on the ground and how to earth bend right how to take all that airiness about them and uh you know do movement on the ground right like if you're if you're air sign and you you know you know you space out and all that right you need discipline so you need to definitely be around earth signs who will help show you how to put your feet on the ground you know so you don't keep wanting to fly off right and and get flighty and and not participate in the the need to heal the earth right to re help rebirth this new earth right trust me when the earth gets sick of us she's gonna she's gonna purge herself She's going to tell us we got to go. You know what I mean? And I do think there is a need for us to be out there on the front line helping. But I also believe in nature. And I do believe that we aren't the only species, you know, here. And um, I think we will find out quickly um, when the animals start turning against us and many other things that they've had enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> They've had enough. and um, But we're getting to that point where we've done so much harm that uh, it is going to be hard to go back. I'll tell you that much. It will be hard to go back. So we definitely need to get to it. The water people need to be out there. Water bending by the ocean, by the lakes, 
doing the best that they can to heal the water, right? Cleaning, cleaning the water. Like if you're a water sign, go volunteer to help. Uh, what's those things where they like clean the ocean, right? Like where they do these campaigns of like, hey, help us get bottles and things out of the water. Even donate to those causes, right? Like find actual organizations that's out here really doing what they're supposed to do, right? So you can do your part that way if you're a water sign, if you're a fire sign, right? I love fire. I think fire has a bad reputation of being this just this destructive, destructive, destructive. But, uh, you know, fire is warmth, right? And it's that warmth that we need from fire, right? Um, I think we live in a time where everybody is so cold. And uh, the, the, the fire people remind us to keep our spark, right? To keep that that drive that ambition that's the fire right that's that's what the fire people are here for to to motivate the you know and 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 melt the iciness that has you know come over so many of us we are so caught up in race we're so caught up in culture we're so caught up in uh ageism sexism <sighs> christ i like we can name all the isms right there, there's so many isms Right, that we're caught up in and we're not paying attention to the bigger picture because there's a way bigger picture that we're not paying attention to. And I'm burping, so it's true. <laughs> we're we're distracted at a high level and none of that matters. Like, let me tell you, when your spirit when you leave the when you leave this earth and your spirit leaves your body, it don't give a damn about how much money you have. It doesn't give a damn about if you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic. It doesn't care if you love a another male, another another woman. It doesn't care. It 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 does what your pronouns or what you identify as, and that is not meant to be a disrespectful way. Cause I respect what you know people's pronouns, whatever you want to call yourself, whatever you identify as, who you want to love, whatever your culture is. I like I really do respect people's boundaries. But at the end of the day, it really is so minute to what we should be worried about, if that makes sense, right? Like the 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 topic is always on race. It's always on fem you know female or male anatomy and organs in our bodies, and uh, just it's not on what it should be. And what it should be on is how the hell as a collective are we gonna start? First of all, spiritually waking up right how are we going to contribute to the spiritual collective right like hey i'm an earthbender you know i want to start practicing earthbending hey i'm an airbender i want to start practicing you know how can i contribute with being an air sign how can i contribute with being a water sign can i contribute being a fire sign because that's really the questions people need to start asking i want to be a part of a collective that is trying to first of all heal the earth because it needs it right but I also want to start waking up the collective that's been asleep too long, right? And I don't want to fight about politics. There you go. There's your other one. Uh, you know, if it isn't race, it's politics. And it's ridiculous, right? So um, I need us to stop getting so easily distracted, seriously, and arguing about these things. Like, um, culture and identity is important to a degree, um, culture and identity is important as long as it doesn't become a detriment where you become hateful, right? When you start feeling yourself becoming hateful because that's what they want. They, they want to egg the devil in you, right? They want to egg that, that, that low vibrational, that lower chakra in you all the time. They don't want you moving from the heart chakra. They don't want you moving from the heart up, right? The heart up is, I got logic. That's not right. That doesn't make sense. My heart, I know that, that that doesn't feel right, right? So they don't, they don't ever want you thinking and they never want you feeling. So you're going to have to learn to stop tapping into this lower chakra, right? This, this The belly down, right? There's nothing wrong with the belly down, but that's the part we need to heal the most. That's why we're out of balance, right? I had a car fly so far off of here. <laughs> And I need a second, you guys, because the car decided, like, this spirit clearly wants me to let you guys know a message because she took flight. And it is Fortuna, Fortune, Fate, Luck. Some of y'all coming into some big money, some coins. Right? What are you going to do with those coins? What are you going to do with this fortune? What legacy are you leaving to the world? 
right? I think we worry about just our families. Oh, my, I need to worry about my family. I want to leave stuff for my children. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? But what legacy are you leaving to the world? Again, how are you contributing to the collective voice? What are you doing that's going to help, you know, those who don't have, right? Especially if you're in a position where you got all these coins that Fortuna is throwing at you. What are you doing with it, right? How are you being responsible with all these coins, right? What are you, what are you doing that gives you fortune and luck? What are you going to do with all this luck and fortune when it comes in? Because she definitely wants to favor people, right? If you can get out of your own way with your ego and do the shadow work, right? And learn to... Yeah, I'm burping. There's truth to that, right? Um, if y'all can get out of your own way and learn to close and end the chapters, like tomorrow, right on a piece of paper, I'm willing to, I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice my ego, right? I'm willing to sacrifice uh, moving from a place that doesn't serve my highest good, right? Because you're telling the spirit, I'm willing to give this up, right? I'm willing to, I'm willing to sacrifice uh, moving from places that, that, that where I'm not, you know, where I'm not empathetic anymore, where I'm not humble anymore, where I'm not grateful anymore, right? Where I forget how to be grateful, where I forget how to be humble, where I forget how to be thankful for it, whether it's the smallest thing or the big thing. And I tell people all the time, the test comes with the small stuff. Hey, I gave you this thing. I upgraded you with this thing. Like I went to New Orleans like last week and um, I literally, we got upgraded from, from a car. They were out of cars and they upgraded us into a fancy Mustang. And I was like, Oh, thank you, Spirit, for the fancy Mustang, <laughs> right? Because I knew what it was, right? It was Spirit saying, hey, no, I want you to not just work, work, work on this trip. I want you to take the top down and let your hair blow in the wind and have a little fun too, right? Because you're too anxious, you're too stressed. I went there for, you know, family, um, dealing with family things, right, from a past on loved one. So it was a very heavy trip for me. And they were saying, look, we are here and we do want to lighten this up for you, right? Like, we're going to upgrade this. And it's the subtle little things that we forget to say thank you for. You know, if you're flying on a on a flight and you all of a sudden get upgraded to first class, same thing, right? Say thank you, Spirit, you know, and, and thank you to the airline stewardess who <laughs> helped you get upgraded, right? Bumped you up. Um, but it's things like that that we need to say thank you. Someone helps you. Someone does something for you that they don't have to do, say thank you. <laughs> that's Fortuna, right? That's that's that gratitude, right? Sometimes I think even the people who are around us every day, we forget to be grateful to even the energies and the people around us helping us on a daily basis. That's Fortuna, right? And, you know, this fate says, you know, if you move from a place of gratitude, luck will always be on your side. Fortune will always find you. And money will always be in your fate, right? You'll always materialize money when you least expect it, right? If you don't worry about it and if you kill the ego and not move from the ego, right? And and heal this shadow and these hidden aspects and get to the depth of the issue, right? You know, why aren't you materializing more money and fortune? You need to do some deep-rooted chakra work and spiritual baths and healing this generation because this is why Anna, grandmother of Jesus is showing up. Y'all need to start healing these these ancest ancestral healing, right? We need to start healing these family bloodlines and we need to start taking better care of ourselves and um, we need to start being more thoughtful and considerate to people around us, even our neighbors. Like I remember when I was growing up, I used to if I cooked food and I had too much food, I would go downstairs and knock on my neighbor's door and be like, hey, you want some food? I made all this food, lady. Want some? Like, I connected with my neighbor in such a major way. She was like an aunt, like an extended nosy aunt, right? You know, the nosy one. They always sitting in the window, minding everybody business. Yeah, that was my neighbor, but I loved her. She had a sweet spirit. Nosy as all heck, but sweet spirit, right? And I need y'all to start connecting even in your neighborhood, um, 
if you're, you know, if your kids are in basketball, football, Girl Scout, Boy Scout, reach out to the parents that kids go there, right? Start teaching your children to even be that way, right? Um, I think we often, uh, we have been trained to not want our children to be soft, like even our boys. I don't want my, I don't want my son growing up to be soft and emotional and in his, in his feelings. That's how you make a, no disrespect, I think you, there's a such thing as balance, right? Like, no, you don't want to emasculate a little boy, but you also don't want him to be so hard that he doesn't know how to communicate and he's angry all the time because you will raise that side. And that was what I dealt with a little bit with my own son, right? Just this this angry kid who didn't know how to speak, but he wanted to. Like, just didn't know how to communicate his emotions because I didn't teach him how to temperament all that anger and roughness and all those things right so we definitely need to do some nurturing and ancestral healing right um with the holy grail and oneness like i said divine union this to me rem reminds me of some of y'all are connecting with your spirit with lady sarah right y'all gonna meet this divine union where you're gonna find your whole spirit team coming around you to help you heal your ancestral line and help you heal yourself then we got Morgan Le Fay showing up. Witchcraft, divination, magic, and power. Some of y'all is really working on the craft out here. Be careful working with the craft, right? First of all, Morgan Le Fay is nothing to play with, right? Morgan's a very powerful priestess or, you know, goddess of the, of the craft. Hence, you know, Morgan Le Fay, witchcraft, divination, right? Be I think too many people step into witchcraft and are not aware of what they're stepping into, right? So just be careful when uh, stepping to Morgan Le Fay's altar, right? Put some respect on her name. And it's the same thing with Hakate and a lot of the deities that represent magic, divination, you know, witchcraft. Witchcraft has a little bit of a negative stigma to it, but that's, you know, here or there, right? Everybody looks at witchcraft like, oh my God, there's witchcraft, right? Again, witchcraft can be used for good or bad, right? There's light workers and there's those who do dark magic. Like, for example, in my store, I don't do return to sender magic. I have I don't want no interest in that, right? Because to me, that's using your gifts and not in a good way. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, right? Like, oh, no, but somebody, somebody messed with me and they deserve to get it. They'll get it. <laughs> you don't need to return it. You don't need to speed it up. And that's that playing God to me a little bit, whether people acknowledge it or not. You're telling spirit and the universe, I don't want to be patient and wait for you. I want to do magic to accelerate and speed that up, right? And I'm not saying you... We can always accelerate and speed things up if it's for the good, right? For the greater good of the collective. And again, not from the ego, Return to sender is the ego, right? So make sure when you are doing witchcraft, divination, magic, and stepping into all this kind of power like that, you are harnessing it in a way that isn't harmful, to one, the environment, or people around you, right? You don't want to be that, that witch that is that because I don't think black magic is bad. I don't think voodoo is bad. Like I said, I think it just depends on how you use those tools, and I say this all the time. <laughs> Divination is just a tool. Tarot is just a tool. You know, um, water. Water's a tool for that matter, right? Fire's a tool, right? Fire could burn a whole house down if you don't use the tool properly, right? Water, same thing, right? Water can drown things if you don't use that tool right. These are tools. And the tools can be great or they can be destructive, Right. And I think a lot of us have also jumped into this witchcraft magic and have not been using it for the greater good. So just when Morgan Le Fay shows up to me, I think there's this powerful high priestess energy. I got a high priestess up in here. I got somebody who is being divinely guided by this very dark feminine energy. Right. And it's, it's not a bad thing. It's a beautiful thing. Some of y'all in y'all dark femme era, and I'm here for that, right? Just make sure when you're in this dark femme era, right? Because some people are the light and others are the dark as above, so below, right? 
in as in out, right? So we got to have the yin and the yang, right? Just make sure you aren't doing harmful magic because that comes back tenfold. I don't care if you, if you made a pack with you know, the, the, the devil himself, the devil even collects his due, honey. You understand what I'm saying? And at some point, everyone pays the piper, right? And even if you don't pay the piper, because we say it all the time, well, how come bad things don't happen to rich people more often? Or, <coughs> or people who've done traumatic things. Who said it doesn't? Who said their bloodlines aren't cursed? Let me tell you, I'm looking at a lot of these rich people, descendants, and they are crazy. Like, they are warped. Not all, but the, the, those that we know have made money in horrific ways. Yo, do you see their bloodlines? They out here doing craziness, right? Medicating all kind of things. They aren't okay. A lot of them. So don't assume just because somebody's sitting in a billion dollar estate, you know how many people who have wealth commit suicide or whatever, you know? Things like that. Like, there's people out here. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there are people out here who have a lot of money. And that's why I'm saying it doesn't... It, I don't take that lightly, right? Money comes with emotional baggage. And if you are not ready for Fortuna when she drops this bag of gold on you, you can drown. You can, you can be self-destructive if you're not careful, right? And many people meet self-destruction when they got that kind of money. We have St. Joan of Arc. Courage, fearlessness, and activism. Told y'all, Joan of Arc said it is time for us to get out there with a sword and a board and be out there like a, like a, like a Templar or a tank. You know, if y'all ever played an MMO, you know the tank. Everybody always hate playing a tank. I hate being a tank. Uh, I want to, I want to, you know, I want to do all the damage. Let me tell you, the tank, I had to, I had to learn to be, appreciate the tank in dungeons. Like, you know, especially when you get on them harder modes, man, you will die without a good healer in the tank. I don't care how much damage you're doing. Like, some bosses will one-shot you without a good tank. You heard? So, some of y'all are, are being called the duty to be St. Joan of Arc and have the sword and board. And maybe that's your destiny. And you be like, that's a crappy destiny. To who? You know? Nothing changes without the activists who are willing to have the courage, the fearlessness, and wear the sword and board. I'm just saying. We wouldn't evolve to where we are. Where... People don't have to be closeted anymore, right? People are allowed to be loud, love out loud. Guess what? It took the people with the sword and board to get us there. We have, uh, as we call freedom, which is slipping away. I don't even know what we have anymore. I think we have the insanity wheel. That's why we're needed. These Joan of Arcs are needed because we're regressing. I've said this, like, I've been saying this for months. We are regressing. And I think that's why Spirit wanted me to do these readings because it's meant for me to talk about it. Because we need to talk about it. We are regressing, people. I don't care what color or culture you are. Stop standing being a bystander. You see racism? Say something. I don't care. You see you see homophobia? Say something. Because that could be your child one day. That could be your grandbaby one day. That's what these, that's what these children who are birthed into our lives, these rainbow babies... We end up having rainbow babies or rainbow grandbabies who remind us that we need to be kind and gentle to people. Not everybody looks like you. Not everybody feels like you. Not everybody moves like you. And this is the reminder that you got to be fearless and you got to speak up. And you got to stop being a bystander. Stop recording it on your phone, people. Wake up. Like... So I've been like, oh, I want to record it so I can get the views and the likes. Y'all are terrible. Y'all are horrible. I hope you stub your pinky toe. Seriously. Now, don't get me wrong. If you are actively saying something while you got the camera and punching somebody in the face while you got the camera, now we got nothing but love for you. But don't just be saying on the camera, <laughs> I can't wait to upload this. Like we we have too much of that, y'all. We need some we need some Jonah arcs. I'm ready to see the 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 Morgan LaFay's who are using the craft for good. 
right? Because we are here. The battle for, I don't want to say good or evil, because I think that's, that's subjective. Even good and evil is subjective. But I think we know our own compass to know what's evil and what's right and wrong. Y'all know what right and wrong is, man. You know what internally we have this thing that I don't believe that the things that we're told is right and wrong is always the true. And I do believe some of the things we're taught is true that it's right or wrong. But we have the intuitive guide and it tells you, like you use a sound mind. Like, well, my mind says this ain't right. My heart even says, oh, that is horrible. Like if you can feel it in the chest, you know it ain't right. So start doing something about it. Jonah Ark is telling y'all to step up. Then we have St. Teresa. Simplicity, devotion, and empathy. There we go. Um, what did I just tell y'all? We need to be more empathetic. I've literally been saying this this whole time and I hadn't even seen this card. St. Teresa is telling us it's time to soften our edges and become more empathetic to each other. And um, start being, that's what I'm saying. It's time to go back to being more simplistic, right? The simple things of just saying, hey, how are you? I hope you have a good day today. You see a total stranger like, hey, I, I hope you're doing well. You see somebody on the corner who need money, stop calling them beggars and homeless and bums. It is so dehumanizing. Some people are literally being, what's the word, gentrified out of their homes. They're being price pointed out of their homes. That could be you. That could be your mama. That could be your grandparent. That could be your child. You just never know. And some of y'all need to learn to be empathetic again and get back into some devotion. You know what I mean? It's time we start taking the faith walk. What do you believe in? Stop talking about it. What do you believe in? Walking faith. That's what this says, right? St. Teresa is walking faith. Get back to the simple things. And, and, and the simple things of just simple empathy, right? Hey, can I help you with that bag? Even if they're like, no, get away. It's okay. All right. No problem. That's how I be. I don't get mad at people. I hold the door open for people. You know, people don't even hold the door open for each other. I smile. I actively smile. And some people are like, well, I'm not a smiler. It makes me nervous. Well, that's okay. But spirit is demanding and calling for us to come out of our comfort zone, you guys. Things are not going to change. So many people like benefiting from the changes, but don't want to be the Joan of Arcs. It's time that we all are being called to get on the front line. This isn't just, well, you know, it doesn't affect me. So, you know, that's not my business. It affects everybody. Anything that happens always has a ripple effect. Start seeing things from other people's perspective. Seriously, I hate that we have this echo chamber thing and people can't tell you that, hey, you know, I, I really don't get down with that. Oh, well, you're racist. Oh, well, you're homophobic. Oh, you're this, right? You know, oh, you're prejudiced. You know, whatever the hell, like, you know what I mean? Oh, you must be a Democrat. Oh, you must be a Republican. Oh, you must be a liberal. Oh, you must be a conservative. No, maybe I just see things from a different perspective. And no, that doesn't make people a coon. What else do we call people? I don't even know if I could say half the things I want to say. But you know what I mean. Like, get out of this mindset. Y'all be on that Twitter too much, TikTok, and now threads, and YouTube. Like, feed your mind good stuff, y'all. Feed yourself things that, that's about your faith. I think we have, this is like the first time in decades we don't have faith. Faith used to be at the forefront of many generations. Whether you're Muslim, whether you're Catholic, whether you're Christian, a Baptist, a spiritualist, Jewish. I don't even know. There's so many faiths. Like, but y'all know what I'm saying, right? Atheist. Whatever it is, wear that, wear, wear it. You know, get lean back into it. Find yourself. Find your tribe that speaks to your spirit, right? Because the message is all the same. Respect people, right? Respect one another. Be kind to one another. That should always be at the ground base of everything. And then the last card we have is Sheila Nagig. Gateway opening legacy. What I tell y'all? 
told you. Tomorrow is a gateway opening. Look at that. Portal opening. Literally in the image. There's a portal opening. Opening gateway legacy. And it's going to define our legacies. Yeah, and I... I didn't even pull these cards and I knew what spirit wanted to communicate with just the first three cards. I knew where we were going just intuitively told y'all I'm like, I'm, I've been waiting to do this cause I know how connected I am to spirit and they, they with me. I know my spirit guides are with me and my angel guides and I'm grateful and I'm humble that they're allowing me and flowing through me to speak to y'all. You know what I mean? So Trust me when I tell you that gateway opening tomorrow, it's going to change a lot of things. And it's a legacy thing. We're going to see ancestors pouring through. Um, We're going to see the good and the bad coming through, though. I think there's been this naive idea that, oh, it's only going to be the angels and the good guys. Mm. <laughs> it's not how a gateway works. If a gateway opens above, it opens below. So... That's why sword and board needs to be prepared for what comes through this gateway, good and bad. You heard? Like we we need to we need to get it together quick, you guys, because whatever's coming through that gateway is gonna be a little bit of both, and we need to be prepared because not everybody, a lot of people, shadow and ego is gonna take over them too. That's another thing that's coming with that gateway. <clears throat> See, I'm accurate. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Like, when I burp, that's a that's a confirmation. And I'm telling y'all, that's it just confirmed what I said. That that gateway is going gonna, is gonna to bring a lot of ego craziness. But it's also, we're going to see a lot of spirit warriors stepping up. And I'm excited to see it. But there's definitely going to be a mixture. It's going to be a lot of witchcraft in the air. Be careful. It's another thing I would say tomorrow with the 7th endings and depth and hidden aspects there's a lot of hidden things that's going to be coming to light a lot of a lot of witchcraft and magic step into your power in a positive good way be careful tomorrow right what did i tell y'all it's going to be good with fortuna but there's definitely going to be some hell right you see the duality hell showing herself right there's going to be the duality of the light and the dark appearing during this gateway tomorrow so we, we definitely need to keep an eye out, you know what I mean, and protect ourselves. What is this one called? The the, the, the pamphlet is literally right there, the thing. Um, it, no, this one. It is called Eden of Love, I think. Love uh, Oracle of Eden. What is it? Love Oracle of Eden. Love Oracle of Eden. I love this deck, you guys. It's called Love Oracle of Eden. You can get it on Etsy. I think it's like Tasma is the name of the the company or the sister that makes it is t-a-z-m-a but look at this deck it is stunning i love her cards truly love these cards so let's see what else spirit got to say for us i know i leaned a little longer in this but i know i know the goddesses had a lot to say and i needed to give them each their respect and let their voices be heard through me and I, I took a lot longer than I expected on the goddesses, but I, you know, I honor them and I respect them. And they've been waiting for me to talk. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? If you made it this far through, I appreciate you. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. I know I may not have no subscribers for a while, or maybe I may go Insta viral. We never know, right? We may grow this tribe quickly, but I have faith that my voice will be heard and it will help many and it'll heal many. Because, you know, for the good of all and harm to none, we're trying to spiritually, you know, we just, we're trying to spiritually vibe with people and I'm trying to lift somebody up, you know, in a time that we're being plagued down with the duality, I'm trying to pick somebody up and I'm hoping this message can get out and help someone tonight, you know, well, actually I'm going to post it probably tonight or tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see, um, but either way, I hope I can help someone. And, um, man, talk to your angels. Talk to your spirit guides. Talk to your ancestors. They are there with you. That's not witchcraft, y'all. Christ. Like, seriously. That, that's not witchcraft to, to call on the people you love that have passed on. Talk to your grandmother. You tell me talking to your grandmother's witchcraft? Come on, y'all. Come on. Do better.
pull up that aunt that you love, that grandmother, that granddaddy you love. We don't give enough love to the men. Call out the granddad. Call out to your dad if he's passed on. Whoever, you know, loved ones that may have passed on. And my condolences to all our loved ones that may have passed on. But they're ancestors now, and they're still with us, and they're guiding us, and we appreciate them, and we are thankful to them, and we love them dearly. All right, y'all. So let's see what else Spirit whew, has to say. And please don't forget to like, share, whew, boy, they got a lot to say. Like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Please turn on that notification bell. Let, whew, Leave a comment down below. You see this? They are throwing the deck. <laughs> they like, we've been waiting. We told you to do this a year ago. Sorry, spirit. I'm sorry, but I'm here now. I'm here now. They want unity. Told you. We too divided. We too caught up in the, 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 the lower vibrational mundane stuff. Mm-hmm told y'all all right spirit move through me move through me ancestors for the greater good i ask that the angel guys archangel michael archangel gabriel guide my hand i ask that sickmet beset and isis and hathor guide my hand i ask that toth and anubis with knowledge and wisdom guide my hand i ask that oshun the golden goddess and yamaya with softness Guide my hand, please. I ask that Allegra tell his stories at the crossroads with me. What is it that I'm supposed to know? I ask that Mary Magdalene and all the Venus energy around me soften my edges and help me soften the hearts of those who need this message. Right, y'all i think i got a lot of cards oh nope they're not done oh what are they talking they with me today all right all right spirit if y'all got some more to say i'm gonna need y'all to hold on for a second there's a lot of talking a lot of talking here you go and here you go give me one second you guys all right let's get to it um oof, they had a lot to say these cars were popping i think they feel in my energy they are proud of me i'm thank you i appreciate the the pride that they have in me yes look at these cards surrender tenderness i told y'all it's all about um softness and healing all right you guys so First card we have is harmony. See the harmony? They want us back in harmony. You see this? Like a tribe, a sisterhood. You know, angels communing with each other. Spirit guides communing with each other. They're communing. You see that? You see like two different races of angels. If y'all identify with the race thing. You see, they're, they're, they're communing together in harmony. There's no racism in the spirit realm. Y'all tripping. Y'all get caught up in the mundane because it's easy. It's low-hanging fruit to get you mad. But look at this. This is harmony in the spirit realm. And they're telling us it is time to do the same. It is time for us to commune at the table, have honest conversations, respect people's opinions, and even if it makes you mad and it and it pokes at a wound, it means it's a wound that needs to be poked, y'all. But don't do it and lash out. Like, we got to tame the beast that wants to come out when we're told something that may pick at a wound. And I'll tell you why. We need the wound pick. You know why? Because that's how we heal. That's why the next card is heal. Can't heal if you don't know what wounds you need to heal. See the snake wrapped around healing the body? It is time that we all start poking at these scabs and wounds and the things that we love to avoid, we don't like to talk about, we don't like to confront. Like, it's many things a lot of us, a lot of us, I told you need to start healing these lower chakras. 
sitting out in the ground, sitting on the floor, even if your legs are butt go numb, I do it often and I can't stand it. But you know what I mean. Even if your booty go numb, sit on that ground, meditate, play some good music, flow with the energy and allow yourself to heal. Heal your love life. Help your partner heal. Help your children heal. Some of y'all are great nurturers and, and will help your children heal generational trauma and trauma they may not tell you about. You may not know about. Some of them are ancestors. We got plenty of ancestors who need healing. Some of y'all's job is to heal y'all what? Ancestral lineage. Ancestral healing. And it's the truth. You know why? Because spirit said so. And here we are with the truth card. Just saying. If you haven't hit like, share, and subscribe by now, go on the tap before a girl right now because we out here spinning the truth. You see how we congregating together talking about the truth? Unfiltered. What I tell y'all, poking at wounds, having conversation in harmony. You see this? We're able to talk about the truth of things, get get to the root of the matter without fighting so that we can all heal we need the community to heal in harmony like we need to start collectively holding ourselves accountable with tenderness you don't have to make a point and be rude you know what i mean like you don't have to be rude to make a point you can be tender you see how he's being gentle with a child so many of us um weren't raised with tenderness like i me i'm a firm believer of uh a iron hand and also but the the softness of the heart right i i love cuddling with my babies like when my babies were small they stayed falling asleep on like the edge of my bed sleeping on the edge of my bed like i'm a grown woman i will go sleep in my mama's bed y'all got me messed up i don't care if y'all call it weird creepy whatever Boys, yeah, they need to go sleep on the couch next to you. But it's still sweet. There's these things that we still need as families and collectives that we have been uh, trained to be called. Well, that's weird. There's weirdisms. That's why we're so detached from our own children. Like, or our own parents. Like, Lord, let me tell you. I raised myself at a young age and my mom was not tender with me at all. I raised myself and it was rough. And I and I've I'm I'm healing. That's my trauma. I'm healing, right? Is this anger of why weren't you tender with me, right? Why weren't you soft with me to 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 nurture me, right? So that's my truth, right? Is that I am learning to heal generational trauma myself, right? Of I know a lot of y'all have probably grown up, especially black parents, and then I had to come to realize. My mama grew up in an era of segregation. I couldn't imagine. My mama talked about it. Like at her, at our high school, my mom went to a Catholic high school where she was like, she said she was only one of two black children in an entire Catholic school of, oh my God, white people. My mom is in, born in the 50s and that meant she was going to school in the 60s and 70s. Can y'all imagine? Like, Take that in for a second. Your mama might have legit been born in one of the most traumatic generations. Because it's that one and the one before are horrific. They don't know how to be tender. They need help healing. It's your job to, to be tender with your own parent. To help them heal. But tell them the truth with tenderness. Like, hey, I'm not okay. You didn't raise me okay, right? Having those honest conversations in a gentle way with harmony, right? Because we need to be at harmony with even our kinfolk, right? But we also need to establish healthy boundaries by telling the truth. This doesn't work for me anymore, right? And surrender that we can't control everything all the time. It is okay to surrender that I can't control. There's that ego, right? I can't control everything and I surrender to the universe. I surrender that whatever is meant to be is meant to be. How I was raised helped get me here, right? What happened in my life, whatever traumas, some of y'all are, you know, trauma victims, whether, uh, you know, someone assaulted you, uh, 
you you know the line of things like i i'm trying to be sensitive to also people and twitter i mean not twitter youtube of the things you can't say right like a lot of us have come from trauma trauma right have had things happen to us at a young age that shouldn't happen right or even at an older age right and it has been hard to heal that trauma we don't even know how to be tender with ourselves we're harsh on even ourselves. No, I got to work. 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 Right? I got to avoid. I got to avoid. I got to avoid. It's time to stop running. It's, start, it's time to start being honest with yourself. Start healing so you can get in harmony with spirit. You see that? That spirit communing. They are ready for us to be tender. Look, they're tender parents. I don't care what people... People can believe what they want. Like... I'm not saying spirit is like, oh, it's this ever loving light. No, they, they can be mean. <laughs> I don't know if mean is the right word. Like I, you know, the head of my head is Sekhmet and Sekhmet is called the first vampire. Like, bruh, she don't play. <laughs> she don't play about her children. Right. But she, but she's also soft. She is gentle and she's super protective. But she will get in your butt and get, you know, do things to sabotage if you don't pay her attention and get your butt in gear, right? So surrender that you can't control everything, right? And it's okay to unravel and just not be okay all the time. You don't have to be strong all the time, y'all. Sacred, see? Here we go. That, that, that sacredness of, look at this. I love the sacred card, right? get with the divine get with the divine within you right we always looking for divine beings and talk about you know prophets spiritual guides angels how about we're just as sacred if y'all believe the the bible of we are created in god's image then you need to take sacred time for yourself right and heal see that sacred heal surrender it is reinforcement that there is some serious, that we all need to seriously sit down and surrender, sit, um, heal, and have some sacred time. And especially women. Like, the fact that this is a woman, because there's men. Like, you see that tenderness? Y'all need to let, let the men in your life be tender with you, right? And if you're a man, it's time y'all start being tender with the women in your life right because that's definitely a male like there's males in this card this isn't just an all-female deck right and i think there was this emphasis on tenderness that we need to be tender even and patient with the men but they need to be tender too right um but this this sacred to me definitely reads heavy on the feminine and we need to get back into being soft right this heel of and like as much as we wear the sword and board, right, for those who already wear the sword and board, right, and there's those that need to step up so that the ones who have been wearing the sword and board for years, I'm talking about out here, spiritual warriors, banging, doing that, they need a break, y'all. They need sacred time to heal, mend. Like, let me tell you, when you the tank getting beat up all the time, your shield get knocked off. And when your shield get knocked off, you just got a sword. You know what that means? You, you, you taking damage. Right? So we need sacred time. We need bath time. I was having this talk with Jude and I really had this like enlightening moment and I knew it was spirit communing with me. Seriously. Because I was like, where did that come from? That felt kind of deep when I was talking about it to my, you know, to him. I was like, I think it's been strategic that baths have been taking out of houses. Most houses don't have baths anymore. You know why? Because that's how you heal. Water heals. Remember when I told y'all it's time for us to learn from other benders how to do things? Well, the water benders are going to teach you how to use water to heal. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, the fact that we now see houses and apartments, shower, shower, shower. You're not emotionally releasing the day. That's why bath time, baby, I remember, you know, when you see a parent, you come home, they sitting in the tub with a cigarette all in their mouth and a drink, like, bring me, bring me this, bring me the phone. <laughs> bring me the house phone, sitting on the phone, coming out looking like a prune sitting in there so long, right, on the phone, gossiping. But you know what? 
they was having so much sacred time. Get in the bath, y'all. It is time to commune. Get in the bath. Put on some lingerie. Buy you some lingerie. Man, there's some cheap websites. Fashion Nova, etc. I don't I don't support Sheen. We don't do that. Mm -mm -mm. But y'all know what I'm saying? Buy yourself some some nice, you know what I'm saying? And it's no disrespect. I just don't, you know, pay your pay your employees and I'll happily support you. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. I don't support companies that don't pay employees or abuse their employees. Like, yeah, there's no need for that. Um, but it's time for us to get back in the bath. You know what I'm saying? Get in the bath. Commune with nature. Commune with the spirits. You know, get a, like I said, get a nice nightgown. Nightgown ain't always for the man. There's this idea that we need to, I need to do it for a man. No, we need to do it for you. Put on that nice, you know, nice little dress today. Get dressed like you going somewhere and go somewhere. Go have ice cream looking cute as heck. Who cares? Go have lunch looking cute as heck. You know what I mean? I want to see more sacred femininity coming back. You know what I mean? Where we be seeing them old school like 60 Polaroids, right? Where I told you that I want a house so bad they got the mirror. What's it called? Where you sit in front of the mirror, do the makeup and all that. Take your time. Vanity. Like, I need a big vanity mirror, right? Where I got my makeup. You know, you be sitting there spraying the perfume. You know, brushing your hair at the end of the night. Like, women used to take, like, two hours before she ended up in the bed. Right? So that when a man saw you, he got excited. Right? Taking a long bath. He can smell you taking a bath. Like, come on, baby. Right? Like, there's a reason why they made mad babies back in the day. Because there was intimacy. And there was this tenderness. Right? And surrendering to the sacred femininity. And the sacred masculinity. Right? Let men be men. Without emasculating them. Right? Now, we have individual individuality. Right? And it looks like Nike in this. This definitely looks like Nike with the individuality. Right? I think with individuality, I have a little bit of a, to me, individuality is a little bittersweet, right? To me, individuality is more like the message is like, message, some of y'all need independence, right? Some of y'all need to step out, go have a girl's day, go have a you day, you know what I mean? Just get up and go out one day, go have fun with yourself, find, connect with yourself, Go sit out in nature. Like, you know, if you're with a party, you're like, oh, I got kids. Take them kids. I'm telling you, we should be the generation teaching our children about spirituality. It doesn't have to be religious, right? And I mean spirituality just from the point of connecting with nature. Spirituality is really connecting with nature. That's what it means. It means being a nature, a nature bender, right? To me, when I think of spirituality, it means, oh, no, I use herbs. I use, po I make poultices. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm in the, you know, I'm in the apothecary, right? You, you're doing all this, like, nature from the roots, from the ground. That's spirituality to me, right? You know, I'm, 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 I, I eat more fruits and vegetables. I'm, I support, you know, going to the, what is it called? The farmer's market, because I want to eat real food, Right? Just things like that, right? Communing in nature, hugging trees, sitting in the ground, right? Some of us need to get some independence. Some of us are feeling suffocated and stifled, right? Or have a space. Um, I just told this to Jude. Like, this is part of why I'm getting a studio, like a, you know, an office. And it's going to become a, the business location where people could pick up products from my store. Like, I need space away from children. I need space away from the house. Right, I need space that I know is an individual space away from the home, right? So that I know that when I'm working, I'm working. When I'm being creative, I'm being creative, right? This is this is where that space is. It's both, right? And my work is creativity, so it doesn't feel like work, right? Um, work has felt too much like work in the house, so um. That's why some independence is needed and boundaries are needed to be set. And some of y'all need to do the same. Intimacy. There it is. See? 
Some of y'all need to get the boo loving with some intimacy. Some of y'all need some boo loving time. Some of y'all need to go cup of thigh. You know what I mean? With this intimacy card. That's what it's telling me. Some of y'all need to go cup of thigh. Some of y'all need to go sit down and boo love with someone you love. Some of y'all need to go, you know, intimacy doesn't have to just equal the finish line, y'all. I think y'all know what I mean, right? Um, it, it can mean everything that leads up to it, right? The kissing, the holding hands the romance, the, the taking baths together, the taking showers together, you know, sleeping in the nude together, whatever it is that makes y'all feel intimate together, right? Time alone, dinner dates alone. Yep, I'm burping, see? There's truth to that. Having dinner dates in the house alone, you know, away from the kids or with the kids, whatever. But intimacy, some of y'all need to... Intimacy needs the y'all relationship needs to come to the forefront. It's too much other other stuff at the forefront and not enough paying attention to your partner. And it needs tenderness and it needs to be sacred time. That's cut phones off, cut distractions off. This is us time. I burped so it was true. Like, you know, like it's hyper focused and I feel like a lot of people are struggling with being alone, not having someone that they feel intimate with, that they feel vulnerable, that they can feel safe and tender with, um, and 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 feel that they um, that the love heals them, right? Because that's what I'm seeing too. Love is supposed to wrap you up like that, right? Love should feel like a warm blanket that wraps you up at night. Find someone that makes you feel like they're wrapping you up with a blanket at night, you guys. Then I told y'all we have empathy showing up. Hyper emphasis on that empathy is showing up twice, right? There's a few cards that have showed up twice. What did I tell y'all? Be empathetic. Be gentle. Be kind. People are out here mentally struggling. They're 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 unattached. You see how this looks like a spirit holding on to someone? I love this picture, this portrait, right? You know, this person looks solemn while this person has a crown, which to me kind of reads angelic, right? is there with you you're never alone you guys i say this all the time just because you can't see spirits because you don't communicate the spirit you don't trust spirit you feel scared you feel nervous you feel awkward and if you're someone like me who communes with them all the time then you know you ain't never alone they are there to be tender and they empathize with you because they know that the system and the things around us that has been set up has not been for the greater good they know it is here to be destructive right it's the mundane it's the low vibrational and we need to learn how to start taking that low vibrational stuff and doing a hadouken with it right taking taking it in because that's that that's that center that center stomach chakra right taking it in and hadouken like yeah, some of us need to and I'm, I'm working on it too trust me where you take in a lot of this stuff that make your nerves and your belly bad and you know, transmute it and blast it back out, right? That's what we need to learn to do by being soft, tender, and empathetic, right? Empathetic to our loved one. I think this really reads, we don't have enough tender and empathy with our loved ones. There's not enough sacred times. We don't surrender to, to tenderness. It's too much individuality. That's what I'm getting. It's too much independent. No, I'm independent. I can do it by myself. It's too much. It's too much. Can't do it by yourself. Let let somebody hold you. I don't care who it is. Be soft. Be vulnerable. You may meet the person you love that's going to wrap you up. You see this cord that's going to help heal you. That's going to be tender and take their time with you. But you won't know if you don't surrender to it. There's that surrender coming through, right? And let go of this individuality and tap into your sacredness. Loyalty. There it is. I just said that, right? If we learn to be empathetic and heal ourselves, we gonna find that loyal, that loyal partner, that down sense, day one, right there, right? That's gonna be the ride or die that Bonnie and Clyde that y'all want so much, right? Even though Bonnie and Clyde is a tragedy. 
the reference to that always makes me laugh when people are like, well, I want my, I want Bonnie and Clyde. Y'all know that's a tragedy? Just, just put that out there. Tragedy. <laughs> it's not a love story. <laughs> It, it's a it's a twisted love story that's been put in our mind and now we believe that's the standard it's not the standard y'all find a love that's loyal and gentle and tender not not pew, 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 with you okay right find somebody who wants to be intimate with you find somebody who wants to be tender with you Find somebody who will be gentle and hold you in your most vulnerable times. Find somebody who you know you can surrender to and trust that they will be loyal. That they will, one, shut their mouth about things that you confide in them to. Two, that they, will, they won't judge you. I think a lot of us are so afraid to be vulnerable and exposing this sacred truth, right, and this nakedness. And the harmony is waiting, right? But we ain't going to get all that until we heal. We, a lot of y'all like, oh man, I had somebody that cheated on me. Were you healed though? Like spirit ain't, like when you are healed, you going to vibrate at a frequency that a bum can't find you. Like a bum gonna look at you and know, man, I ain't messing with her. She look high maintenance. That's what they're gonna call you. You are. You're spiritually high maintenance. See the difference? It's it's just all in the vocabulary. Change that vocabulary. Stop telling them, oh, I'm high maintenance. Y'all so always worried about money. No, tell them you are spiritually high maintenance, honey. I don't want no... No broken bandit no more. I don't want no eye patch pirate out here no more, right? Like, tell, make them address, address, address their own wounds to heal. Like, I don't mind a wounded pirate because they got ambition and all this other good stuff, but they're going to heal. Like, we ain't just going to keep walking around while you a pirate, a fearless pirate, and, and not healing. Like, they need to heal. Call them out too, but do it in a tender way. Tell the truth in a tender way. And if they don't want to do it, leave them. It's okay. Sometimes, listen, sometimes we people be married 20 years, 30 years, and leave people. Because they need to pick themselves first, surrender and heal themselves first. And be independent for a while. Unity told you you and i ty i don't know why it made me think of that song by uh queen latifah unity is needed you see how it's the woman it's women together holding the world on their shoulders my shock face right that unity is going to come with women at the foundation right while men are out here as these soldiers right you see how they, 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 he's in a Spartan, I hate that it's a Spartan outfit, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like this, this outfit holding the baby after being out there fighting with a sword and board all day, right? He wants to come home and be tender with, in, with intimacy. And he wants to be loyal and empathetic, but y'all both got to surrender and heal. And when you get in your sacred femininity, you going to make him heal. Or spirit's going to remove him out your life. Spirit's going to tell you he got to go. He got to go. Telling you. When you commune with spirit, they're going to tell you. They're going to show you the imagery like this. That's why I love this deck. Even for my own personal stuff. Like, show me. Vi I'm, I'm a visual representation kind of girl with tarot. Right? Not so much the words. Like, the visual to me always says, oh, that says so much more. Right? Women holding the world. Like, women are the foundation to the world. But we do need men out here willing to fight and protect and defend, right? But we got to get in our sacred femininity and learn to be tender and empathetic while they go through the journey. And uh, we need unity and harmony with everybody. It's not just a us thing, right? Adore. I love this adore card, right? This look at look at spirit showering adoration, right? 
Look at the flowers, right? Once you get into your sacred femininity, look at you. Look at you. Look how you're going to be out here. People are going to be like, oh, I adore you. And like, I do adore your company. That's how they're going to be. Look at this. There's some real Princess Buttercup. Oh, I adore you. You don't say, look, when you, when you, once you done heal through this sacred feminine, you're going to be out here like Cher with her ties out. That's what this picture look like. <laughs> Cher with her ties out. Wait till y'all start healing. They going to be at your feet. Like, oh, mm, oh, I'll be loyal. I'll be true. Watch. The intimacy, you're going to find a man who's going to be, he ain't going to struggle to be intimate. See, that's a confirmation from spirit. I'm getting sounds while I'm in here. But have pride. Have, there's a difference. You can have pride and not ego. Like, spirit wants us to be proud of who we are, proud of our journey, you know, to keep pride, keep your head up, you know, walk with your arms back. That's what I'm telling y'all, that adore, that femininity, that no, I'm proud of my struggle. I'm proud of my journey. I'm grateful, right? This pride, I ride this unicorn naked and no one can tell me what to do because I'm connected to the divine, right? I'm connected to myself. I've healed myself, right? That pride's going to come. And then we're going to uplift each other, right? Some of y'all need to get in a coven, right? Some of y'all need to get around a tribe of your soul soul sisters because that's what i call them like we're, we're soul sisters because we're stars right so we're soul sisters some of y'all need to find y'all brothers and sisters the the brothers need to find their male tribe like and y'all need to uplift each other women struggle the most that's why i think there's women representation in this card because women struggle so hard to uplift each other like like baby come on uplift each other come on sis Come on, sister. You got it. I adore you. I got your back. That tenderness with your sister to heal. Right? Some of y'all connect more with strangers than you do your own family. And I know it best. Because I, you know, once you find that loyal homie, that loyal tribe that, that of unity and harmony that's going to uplift you. Some of y'all really, like I said, going to be out here like sharing. Who else is like this? feminine like real femme fatale because to me that's that's that share shares that dark femme era to me for sure diana ross diana ross back in the day stayed with her ties out wearing sheer stuff and cat suits like 60 years old in a, in a sheer cat suit like where are you going grace jump man grace jones out here 440 years old stripping on a pole and her shows <laughs> can't tell them nothing. You heard? That's what it look like when you walk in your sacred femininity and heal and you uplift people and you be in harmony and you be gentle and tender. Like I've seen every time I see videos of Grace Jones, she is always so soft with people. She's so kind, prideful. This is how Grace Jones look like a like this on a unicorn. I swear that that was a good reference, Jude, saying Grey Jones. Because she remind me of this this character on a on a pride unicorn. That that reminds me so much of Cher. I meant Grey Jones. And Cher. Like this this I'm on a unicorn. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I wouldn't care if I'm a hundred. You know what I mean? And y'all gotta be open. Look at this. This this openness. Alright? This looks like Mother Mary, doesn't it? Wearing our heart on her sleeve. Some of y'all got to open up that heart chakra and be vulnerable to the world. Be open to criticism. Be open to the judgment. But know that you're going to be uplifted with unity. You're going to have sisters who have your back. Who going to, all you need is two. You see how you got one on each side? Y'all going to hold the world up on y'all shoulders. They're going to be loyal and true and tender. And y'all going to have harmony. And y'all going to be out here with y'all ties in the breeze. I'm telling you. Basking in that sacred femininity with that man you want to be tender and kind to. And empathetic to. And having this great love life. Everything is going to fire on all cylinders once you heal and open up this heart chakra. And be open 
to everyone around you and uplift everyone around you. Y'all that like to nitpick who you want to uplift and who you want to commune with instead of... That's why a lot of y'all ain't found y'all soul tribe. Some of y'all like, oh my God, they're... they're that's a, that's a black girl. Oh my God. That's a white girl. Oh my God. There's an Asian. There's an Indian. There's a Hispanic. They're so racist in me. Y'all let other experiences from people's cultures. Yes, there's racism in every culture. Doesn't matter if they're Republican, Democrat. Some of y'all really be missing out on a soul loyal soul tribe with these boxes that y'all have allowed them to put you in and us all of us all of us is a collective that's why it's time for jonah arc to rise that we've all collectively allowed ourselves to be in and we have missed our soul tribes who will hold the world up on our backs like we don't need echo chamber like you can't grow all having the same point of view like i need y'all to stop how do i put it I need y'all to stop letting social media condition you to, to, to banging on each other 24-7. Even culture. Culture got y'all in a vice grip right now. And me included. I've gotten caught up in it. Because at the end of the day to me, the world, the world has started with a woman. Right? For me, the divine femininity is the, that's the truth of culture. <laughs> Everything else is irrelevant. The color, the people, who conquered who, that's all irrelevant. The only thing that's true is the world was birthed out of a woman. And fight me if you want to on that one. <laughs> and then we have presence in this very photo, right? There's this angelic presence here with us right now for this reading. And around you. And they want you to know they're very present. And they're showing up for you with this angelic light, bare butt naked, but like gorgeous and sexy. And they want you to be present for them. This butt naked, this vulnerable, crying, healing, shedding this skin, crying in the bath, letting everything go, journaling, healing, grounding in nature. Be present for them because the light and the warmth is ready to, you know, wrap you with this openness of open arms, right? Like Mother Mary, right? Is ready to wrap you up in warmth and light. And they're here to uplift you, right? Doesn't matter if you're who you are, man, female, doesn't matter. They're ready. They're here to uplift you, right? With openness and love, with unity, Right, telling you you don't have to carry the world on your shoulders by yourself. So you can have harmony in your life and be adored by those, you know, that that are tender, empathetic, and you know what I mean? Sacred to you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I am Calypso Vibes again. This is spiritual tarot reading i hope y'all are enjoying the reading so far i know i've probably gotten some of y'all real vulnerable right now and it's okay i send y'all spiritual hugs i'm burping see <laughs> excuse me i haven't even drunk like soda or ate dinner y'all to be burping like this seriously i'm telling you that's how i know when i'm testifying testify makes me think of testify <laughs> Sorry, y'all watch way too much wrestling. Dudley boys. But, yeah. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm out here giving gospel. But with love. And with a nudge to, you know, hopefully have a few of y'all, you know, get off the pot. You know what I mean? So, I wanted to use a few more decks. Unfortunately, I think I'm running a little bit out of time because I am really hungry. And guess what? We can always film and record again tomorrow, part two. And I'll just pick this deck, those decks up and, you know, continue this reading. Thank you, Spirit, for being with us. Those who serve our highest good, our ancestors, spirit guides, ancestors, and, you know, gods and goddesses that's watching over us. The creator of the universe, nature, all of it, the fairies, all of them. A lot of people don't make it, you know what I mean? And you still here, so be grateful for the journey. Not everybody makes it, seriously. Gratitude for being here.
right? Every day you wake up, you have a chance to change, you know, change your life and change your situation and change the lives of yourself first and those you love. Let's see what else, spirit. Ooh. Wants me to tell the collective. Sometimes with these like glossy, um, these glossy cards, they like flip everywhere. Oh my God, they really want y'all to surrender. There's heavy on the surrender. Heavy. Heavy on the money coming in though. But heavy on the have faith. Jude, can you reach under the table? Like these cards be popping, popping. It's like right there. Or, you know, there's Beset. Beset or Sekhmet. Ooh, that's too many cards, y'all. Ooh, hold up. All right, let me do a light shuffle. Sorry, Spirit. Sorry, sorry. Please flow through me again. I was just so scared I was going to drop the whole deck. Felt like the whole deck was coming out. I apologize. Okay, let's, let's try it again. Sorry. I got nervous. Oh, clearly they like I said, let all those cards fall. I respect it. Whatever y'all say, spirit. You the boss. What else is it that the collective needs to be made aware of? What else is the message? Ooh. All right, y'all. I think Spirit dropped a whole deck out. <laughs> this might be enough cards. Oh, Divine Feminine is with us. Hello, Isis, Mother Isis. That could be Mayette. It could be Hathor. All right, y'all. We got some of y'all out here living with regrets. And some of y'all are impulsive. Some of y'all go against the flow, quick-witted, daring, rebellious, big changes, impatient, and assertive. And then some of y'all got regrets, loneliness, loss. Some of y'all better get it together. Y'all gonna be having a whole bunch of regrets. I'm burping. It's, it's true. Some of y'all going to be regretting y'all decisions if y'all don't get it together and act now on whatever you're supposed to be doing. Heed this message. This is a message for the collective that co that goes for me. It even goes for you. It goes for anyone exposed to this energy. Like, it is time we all hold ourselves accountable and heal and do our part in the collective, right? Grief, because some of us are going to be filled with regrets, loneliness, grief, isolation, despair, sadness, and heartbreaking. Sorry to hear that for some of y'all. I'm actively going to make sure I'm doing the work, so I, I don't I don't be out here regretting nothing. Thank you. I don't know, just did it somewhere on the weight scale. It's fine. So many cards fell, so I'm just gonna skip, you know, run through these. Y'all saw them drop the whole deck dang near on me, and then I picked it up, right? And I started reshuffling again, and they said, I said, drop the deck, <laughs> drop the deck, did it again. So, okay, spirit, I, I got the message. I apologize, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll listen now. All right, y'all. So I'm already almost at an hour and a half. Thanks for tuning in. If you watched this far, you're awesome. It's my first video. It's probably a mess, but I really appreciate it. And I promise I'll get better. Um, you, you can't get better until you start, right? And so um, I hope I inspire. I hope I motivated someone. I hope I helped someone. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Please turn on that notification bell. Um, I will try to post again tomorrow. Um, I think weekends are going to be off limits. Um, I try to do the same thing with the, my wrestling channel. So, um, you know, hopefully you guys will tune into more content and hopefully I'll, I resonate and speak to somebody. I plan to start doing these live, 
right? Because I want the reach, but we'll get there. Stagnation. Some of y'all feel stagnated. Self-absorbed, feeling bored, missed opportunities. Some of y'all have missed opportunities, dissatisfied, lost some motivation. Some of y'all are really in this stagnation and not feeling uh, motivated and feeling bored. Y'all got to get out of that. That's not a good place to be. Y'all going to, this is where the regrets are going to come from. Heavy. Y'all going to lose people. Y'all going to continue to lose opportunities. And y'all going to deal with the regret and the heartbreak. Dissatisfied. Find your motivation. Find your chi. Find what makes you happy, loves. Faith. Belief system. What did I just tell y'all? That it's time to get back into our faith. Do that faith walk. Whatever your faith is, right? As long as you are connecting to the divine, whoever your divine spirit and guides are, right? Faith, belief system, teaching, values, morals, because we need back, we need to get back to a moral compass full with values. And so we have that every day to tune into. Like every day now, um, do to tell y'all, I actively listen to like spiritual tarot readers who motivate my spirit. Like there's some who I think be dropping too much heavy stuff. And uh, it bogs me down, right? So I want to make sure when I leave this message, I leave y'all feeling uplifted, motivated, right? Because I, I enjoy listening to some of the readings just to see where people gifts are, right? How I can work on my gifts, getting ideas. It's a it's a synergy within itself, right? A lot of people be like, well, I don't like tarot. Tarot's all subjective. It's like art, right? When you go to the art museum, you're like, yeah, I don't really like that art. It's subjective. And for some people, oh, it resonated hard, right? And it'd be like that. I also listen to a lot of spiritual music, right? Like I found some beautiful channels. I need to start shouting them out, but I'll get to that in due time. I'll make sure I write down a lot of the channels that I like and support because I like to see people grow. And I do believe in, you know, the collective of harmony and sharing, right? Nothing, nothing ever gets taken from me. I used to have that motto and I grew a lot. On, uh, when I used to be on Mixer for Microsoft. And I used to be like, man, I don't care. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a free gypsy. And I kind of lost my way because I started listening and hanging out with people. So be careful a little bit too that you don't change too much of your beliefs. You know, have faith that you're on the right, right path. Have faith that what's meant for you will find you, right? No one can take away your opportunities. Only you can by being stagnated and lost some motivation and bored and dissatisfied, right? And filled with regrets and not healing yourself. So get into your faith. If you need to go to a, a church or organization or start listening to things that uplift you, build you up, make you feel good. Find whatever your rotation is. Everybody needs that pep talk, right? That energy. I always say that's the best thing about church is if you find a good pastor, you walk out of there doing this. Mm, 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 mm. I'm about to go conquer the week. Mm, 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 mm. I think that's the part I miss a little bit sometimes at church, but I ain't got time for four hours. I need to find me a a, a pastor who make me diddy bop in like 45 minutes. Great. I don't have that short of attention span, so I'll give them an hour, right? Get me out there diddy bopping in an hour and I feel good. You know what I mean? Surrender, new perspective, sacrifice, will to let go, making peace. Some of y'all going to have to surrender and sacrifice things and find a new perspective and let go of the past. Some of y'all can't, man, get out your own way. Make peace. What did I tell y'all? Some of y'all got to heal this ancestral drama, forgive your parents, forgive your siblings. And sometimes, you know, when you forgive, you can let them go. And ain't nobody saying you got to forgive and be all up in people's faces. By no means do I mean that. Some of y'all going to be out here cheating as legacy. Ooh, inheritance, comfortable lifestyle. Can I can I borrow $2? I'm just saying. Family ancestry, domestic bliss. Some of y'all about to be out here, okay. Building dynasties. Look at this. Legacy, you know, murals of you, pictures, portraits of you. Family ancestry, some of y'all domestic bliss, some of y'all going to find love, some of y'all going to build this legacy with a loved one, because that's what that tells me. This portrait is of a man and a woman, a union. So a union is going to help you bloom this. Y'all going to build legacy. Y'all going to build a comfortable life. So y'all going to build family ancestry and domestic bliss. 
But it looks like y'all have to put each other first. And y'all have to listen to each other's needs because that came out all in the car. Y'all got to be tender to each other, empathetic. And intimacy is very important. But being sacred and vulnerable is very important in, in finding harmony, right? No one's perfect, y'all. You know what I mean? Everybody comes with baggage and flaws. I just told you, even the pirate, the fearless pirate with the eye patch who look good, good body, out there be gone, gone, gone. You know, he might be a hot booty, right? So you, you got to take your pros with your cons, right? Everybody needs to heal is my point. Everybody has something that isn't perfect. We've been conditioned to this idea of a Barbie. Like, you know, that, that's why I think those dolls are going to do well soon. Oh, I don't want it to talk back. I don't want it to argue with me. I don't want it to question me. You know what I mean? I don't want it to pluck at these wounds of mine, right? I don't want to make it, I don't want something that's going to make me grow. Or I don't want something that's going to make me, you know, shit and get off the pot, right? Get left behind, right? So, head over heart, disciplined authority. This is a newbie showing up for some of y'all. Disciplined, authority, logical, direct, rational, structure, cold, detached. So some of y'all need to, to, to make some logical decisions. Not always be in the heart chakra, right? Be open but smart, right? Um, be disciplined. A lot of y'all, that's what I'm saying. Some of y'all need someone telling y'all what to do. Some of y'all need a job. Some of y'all need authority, right? Some of y'all need guidance. Some people are natural born leaders and some make great students who then become leaders, right? Um, rational. Some of y'all make good foundations. Some of y'all make good structures. That's what is here, right? Learn what your gifts are and let other people help you hone your other, you know, hone your gifts while they do theirs. See that? Remember that's that, that tenderness and empathy, right? Not trying to control but how can I help you hone your gifts, right? And how can you help me with mine, right? But where we meet up at the end in harmony and unity and in love, right? Prosperity, financial new beginnings, investments, savings, security, stability, abundance, manifestation. Some of y'all about to be getting all this money. Money. Money is pouring in for some of y'all. Not everybody about to be out here struggling. Again, if this doesn't resonate... It doesn't resonate. You know what I mean? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell for the continued reading of this tomorrow, I promise. Nurturing. See, there's that nurturing showing up. Social status. Homemaker. Organized. Successful. Down to earth. Some of y'all are really chill and, and are great mommies. Like, you know, real mommy figures. Luxury. Finer things in life. When y'all nurture yourselves and heal yourselves, the finer things is coming. Y'all about to be out here on some Cleopatra looking fine as heck. Out here. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. On your bad girl era. Out here looking like Rihanna. Contentment. Wishes coming true. Look at this. Fulfillment. Satisfaction. Cheerful. Abundant. Sensuality. I'm telling you. Intimacy. By the way, there's magic in intimacy. Right? When y'all know how to pleasure each other, y'all send out this blast of intimate energy that helps you manifest money too. And love. When you cause because if you really being intimate with someone you love and they hitting all the right spots and doing all the right things, you're gonna open it's like a flower opening your chest, right? You're gonna bloom and you're gonna send out this signal to the universe like I'm so happy, I'm in love, I'm content. That's what they like. Right? So they're going to keep sending you that. Make sure you're sending those signals out. Dedication. But it's going to take dedication, reputation, craftsmanship, expertise. What did I tell y'all? Learning to help each other hone each other's gifts. Y'all going to have financial security and achieving goals with dedication. And being content and having faith. There's so much achievement coming with dedication and patience, generosity, past life nostalgia, memories, home. Some of y'all need to go home. Kindness, giving. Some of y'all need to give to charity. Some, some of y'all need to get up and do some charity. What y'all going to do to give back? Donate to charity. Return union. Kindness, giving. Some of y'all need to share, right? Share your knowledge. Share your gifts. Stop always charging money. We've been taught in this capitalistic society, oh, 
Well, if I help you, I need $5. Oh, if I help you, I need $10. I'm learning this lesson myself, right? Knowledge was given. You know, if you can learn knowledge for free on YouTube, you should give knowledge, right? I'm not saying that not to monetize your gifts, but don't over monetize your gifts. You want to also leave the door open for those who genuinely, some people, we are really in times where people can't afford it. And you helping someone could change someone's whole life. Wouldn't you love to know that your video, your your blog, your your package, your your teachings, your your like you just change someone's whole life in a day, shouting out someone's business, all that. When you give, I'm telling y'all, this blast of money, y'all ain't gonna worry about money. Because Spirit going to see you moving from a genuine place of faith and love and nurturing and generosity. Discerning, cutthroat. What I tell y'all, this is whoo, this is showing segment and beset energy. That discerning, cut through, sharp mind, realistic, self-reliant. What I tell y'all, some of y'all got to start being independent, not so codependent. Repressed feeling, strong, independent. She telling you. This is the nudge. That's even a nudge for me, by the way. I'm taking this as a sign because this is my deity. <laughs> you know, uh, to speak my truth. That's why truth showed up too, right? Repress feelings, to speak truth and uh, keep a sharp mind and a sharp tech. Use my mind over my heart because I'm, I'm, I'm heavy on the heart sometimes to the point that it's put me in a detrimental place. And I know there's a lot of y'all out here that are empaths. Y'all are super heart people, right? While people are out here using their brain while we're using our heart right like man i'm about to i'm about to make moves on their money get what i need and keep it moving right so be careful use some discernment on not letting people just suck you dry vampire you for real that's what that's what segment just told me like don't let people vampire you don't let people take from you because people will take 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 because they using their mind shark as attack so use discernment on who you allow that generosity. See, that communing. Don't over-commune now. Remember I said you can monetize your gifts, but help people and come from a real open place. You'll know when to pull back because you're going to be moving in this sacred energy of healed energy. If you're like, nah, I, I can't help that. I've already done a lot today. But catch me tomorrow, baby, right? It's okay to say catch me next week and mean it. Time of adjustments, integration, compromise, moderation, patience. I told y'all some of y'all got to be patient. Adjustments is coming with this, this cycle tomorrow, this portal opening tomorrow. So be careful, right? But be prepared for the adjustments. Have faith because your faith is going to be tested. They're going to be out here doing quizzes. <laughs> You need to compromise. I'm saying that, that generosity, sabotage. I told y'all some of y'all, y'all own sabotage. Excuse me, I'm burping. See, you some of y'all, your own worst enemy sabotaging yourself, afraid of success, afraid to take the risk, afraid to be vulnerable. But you also got to watch your back because there's haters all around you. You know, people with the evil eye, deceit, lies, trickery, scheming, masking. Some people masking who they really are. Oh, hey, boo. I really hate you, right? Like, be careful of that. Uh, risky behavior. Yeah, make sure y'all protecting y'all space and protecting yourselves. Seriously, and that's how I feel. I move now off my own emotions. Like, I don't let nobody tell me. Like, sometimes even y'all got to tell your, your children, like, hey, I'm setting boundaries. Back up. Like, you're going to be vampires sucking my energy up, right? Hey, respect my boundaries. This is me time, right? Hey, I'm, I'm leaving. Don't be blowing my phone up, right? I don't, just there's things because it's sometimes I think children sometimes be our biggest vampires and our partners so make sure you set in healthy boundaries with both and family some of y'all be be doing too much every time your mom or your daddy call all right I'll come help you I'm tired I'm have, I'll giving you last five dollars make sure you're taking care of yourself too some people some people out to get you because you got all this abundance restrictions feeling trapped some of y'all are restricting yourselves hands tied victimized paralyzed by terror hopeless helpless powerless Woo! dilemma imprisonment these are self-imposed restrictions though this feels like you've mummified yourself that you've given yourself these self-imposed restrictions be careful of that for real 
Use your intuition and discernment. Boy, Beset is coming through strong with these cards. Right? Be careful of that evil eye because the eyes is on this one. So be careful of people putting the evil eye on you and wishing you harm. Because as you grow and bloom and set boundaries, people hate when you set boundaries. No matter who they are, what age they are, they hate boundaries especially if you've been a boundary if you've been like a border if you've been a country with no borders when you start putting the walls up people hate it and you know it right so make sure you're using your intuition discernment um as i told y'all leaning in your spirit spirituality because y'all gonna get downloads of hidden knowledge trust your gut feelings and receptivity right collective right give and take that generosity right make sure you're giving as much as you're taking make sure you are sacrificing and i don't mean blood sacrifice you know what i'm saying don't you don't need to harm nobody but make sure you are giving up vanity ego pride and you know you can be proud but don't be too prideful right you know what i mean um so just make sure you're giving up things to receive all this and a lot of it just comes from being open honest in a soft manner where you don't have to be harsh with a sword and board um and stop self-sabotaging faith 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 that's all that keeps showing me faith 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 walk in faith have inner strength courage instinctive drive survival taming right tame the monsters that want to tame you right have faith have courage be brave Y'all got so much spiritual ancestors and spiritual guides around you protecting you. Juggling life. Resourceful, adaptive, flexible choices. Trying to balance it out. Prioritizing what is important. There you go. Balance them scales. Expansion. Setting things in motion. Foresight. Long-term endeavors. Launching plans. Some of y'all are on the go. Some of y'all are launching businesses. Some of y'all are launching careers, right? Some of y'all are starting new jobs. It's okay to work a job. It's okay to have stability because that showed up. So that's like have pride in working that job. You work a nine to five or whatever, 12 hours a day, have pride in you, the garbage man, postman, whatever, the bus man, have pride in that job because you have stability, foundation, right? Everybody can be an entrepreneur. You know how many businesses fail? You know, have pride in your everyday duty. Hardship. Some of y'all going to struggle, though. There is going to be some loss, some uneasy situations, negative change, feeling left out in the cold. Some of y'all going to feel left out in the cold. And it's going to be self-sabotage because of this stagnation and the regrets and unhealed wounds. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all about to deal with hardships standing there in the cold. You see that standing in the cold? Because y'all didn't do right by people. I advise y'all start prioritizing what's important in your life. For real. Some of y'all need a wake-up call. And y'all, the wake-up call going to be the hardship. Getting left behind. Take control of your life. Determination. There's that head over heart. Anubis constantly reinforcing head over heart. Goal-oriented. Momentum. Use your head. Balance. Prioritize who love you. Who want to see you happy. To me, love is do you want to see me happy? Do you want to see me succeed? How are you helping me do those things? Are you helping me do those things? Are you just sitting by, standing by, watching it? Do you support the decision of, of you know, who I'm dating, who I'm loving? Do you support that I'm adopting children? Do you support that I'm working this new job, even though it's out of state? Do you trust me? right it's things like that take control of your life and balance your life and make decisions with your head but don't miss opportunities where you end up in these hardships communication and faith is important y'all and again being vulnerable and honest some of y'all don't know how to be vulnerable some of y'all wear masks 24 7 y'all don't know how to be vulnerable completion some of y'all are completing karmic circles completion achievement full circle that's why y'all about to get all this money wholeness time to move forward that's why y'all about to be moving forward you got all this wealth coming in because some of y'all completed a whole karmic circle 
Some of y'all ain't, some of y'all ain't gonna probably be reincarnated. Cause y'all done completed the mission. Like mission done. This is not me with this is not me in any way saying someone gonna die or wishing death on anyone. All I'm saying is whenever that time comes, whether it's a hundred years from now, fifty years, well, you know what I mean. Right? Some of y'all might have completed a karmic cycle and y'all gonna elevate in the spiritual realm. Right? Continue to be this good person because not everybody going to be dealing with this hardship. It ain't going to resonate with everybody. Enthusiastic, exciting news, setting off seat on new adventures, passion to start creating, making plans. A lot of making plans. But make sure you execute them. A plan without vision and, and execution is just still a dream. It's still just a vision. Make sure you be enthusiastic and courageous and have discernment. Use your mind and use your intuition. Have faith. Make sure you're circling yourself with people who want to see you with the luxurious life because it's here. Abundance, plentiful, rewards through hard work, independent balls, thriving with wisdom and fortune. And yet, here's another picture of you communing with people who are of like mind and like circle. You're going to find your soul tribe who got money and who ain't struggling all the time. You're going to find that boo who's going to build you up. Who gonna build with you? Some of y'all gonna build with somebody, and some of y'all gonna find a boo who's gonna build you up. I feel that strongly. And some of y'all gonna get lost because y'all too y'all too busy self sabotaging, too stagnant, and restricting yourself because y'all don't know how to heal and be vulnerable. Divine feminine, nurturing mother, creativeness, grace, abundance, beautiful, fertility, and elegance. Look at that. Some of y'all going to have a baby. Some of y'all about to birth a new generation. That's why there's this birth of the world with the divine feminine. Some of y'all about to birth the next gen of babies who are going to help heal the world. Y'all y'all mission is to give birth to the next gen that is that is that is going to help heal and make you tender, help you make you soft, help you heal your lineage through that pregnancy. There's going to be abundance, though. Elegance, this luxurious lifestyle coming in a divine union. Look at this. Love, soulmate, choices, heart desire. I told y'all. Some of y'all about to find the man or the woman of your dreams or them of your dreams. Y'all about to find the person that, that light your soul on fire. Trust. You're going to feel it in your soul because it's divine. Ooh, some of y'all with this rock bottom and hardship. Ooh, some of y'all about to go through it. Nail in the coffin. Finalize, goodbye, severing ties, dead and ruined. Ooh, some of y'all about to go through a hell of breakup. And one, of the, and one on the other side gonna go through it. Because some reason, I feel like the breakup gonna be good for one of y'all. And if it don't resonate, it don't apply to you. But some of y'all, whoo, some of y'all done did some foul things to y'all partners. Seriously. This is karma. Woo, that's some heaviness on one side. That's why Anubis is showing me the scales, right? Some of y'all about to glow up. Some of y'all about to glow up with this partner. Some of y'all going to meet a partner. Some of y'all going to glow up with the current partner. That's confirmation from spirit. And some of y'all about to hit rock bottom. The other side about to go through it. Miserable, suffering, rah, rah, rah. You know what I mean? Perseverance. Wounded warrior. What I tell y'all about these wounded warriors, right? It's okay to have a wounded warrior as long as they're going to be willing to heal. Wisdom and strength. Gain through experiences. Trials and tribulations. Some of y'all are meant to walk trial through fire, right? Trial don't always mean bad, right? Some of y'all going to make it to the other side of the scale and some of y'all aren't. But persevere. Walk with your head up. That's that pride, right? Have pride in what you're doing. Right? You can't, you ain't gonna struggle forever. Know you being divinely guided and the struggle is a lesson. Look at what the lesson is. Like, why am I struggling? Why is this suck? Like, why does this hurt? Why is this hard? You know what I mean? You are magnetic. Look at this. Look at this majestic queen. Why does it look like Jane Cargill? This card. Magnetic, beautifully attractive. Stunning, feisty, confidence, popular, fun to be around. Some of y'all are blast. Some of y'all are amazing. Some of y'all is the the a, a reborn queen. That's what this is giving me. Some of y'all been here before, and y'all about to take the throne back. You know, some real Jay Z watch the throne, cause some of y'all 
is 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 walking in y'all y'all king and queen era. Y'all are reborn queens and kings, and don't let them tell you otherwise. Know it, know it, feel it, right? Some of y'all are descendants of kings and queens, which means by birthright, y'all are kings and queens. So have faith, walk with your head up. For those who are about to struggle and hit rock bottom, I pray for you. I pray for strength for you. I really do. I hope it gets better for you. But I'm telling you, get out of this stagnation. If you've been struggling and you've been feeling like you're on a down slope, here's your warning sign to catch yourself now. This, this is where you can catch yourself and do better. So you don't got to go backwards. You don't got to repeat it. I know this video was long, but you know what? I know it resonated with somebody and I know somebody going to watch it all the way through. Somebody going to probably go to sleep to me and that's a beautiful thing. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, I will do part two tomorrow. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will continue to grow. I will continue to do these. I hope it resonated. I hope I helped somebody. I hope I motivated somebody. You got it. Keep your head up. You know what I mean? Um, know you ain't never alone. I'll never alone. There's so much divine ordinance over this. Like tomorrow, that shift, y'all going to feel it. Y'all going to feel it because some of them are coming through portals tomorrow, good and bad. So make sure you stay spiritually protected with good vibes and good energy and protecting your home and your children and yourself. And uh, I send y'all a lot of love, light, and protection. And um, I'm Calypso Vice. This is spiritual, spiritual tarot reading. <laughs> spiritual tarot reading. And make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, and turn that notification bell. Hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. If I don't see y'all tomorrow, I'll see y'all the next day. Bye.